facility over a period of four years. As of 31st December 2020, physical works at Kira Motors plant stood at 68%, but we are lagging behind due to budget fall shortfalls over the years. It is noted that Kira Motors received 21.4 billion in 2018-2019, 20 billion in 1920, approved budget for 2020 and 2021 is 42.125 billion. And the MTF figure for 2021-2022 is approved at 42.125 billion. Further, there has been... You had a supplementary issue. Further, that supplementary was for COVID-related issues and it focused on those PPEs and all that kind of stuff, not on the construction of this plant. Furthermore, there has been need for expanding the manufacturing capabilities of the vehicle plant to include pickups, bars, truck chassis manufacturing, so as to support the proposed contract manufacturing business. With the current empty figure of uh, 42.125, Kira Motors requires 176 billion to complete construction and equipping the assembly shop, warehouse, body shop for the chassis and web frame fabrication, electrophoralysis shop for collision protection of chassis and web frame, paint shop for vehicle painting, the industrial waste treatment plant and the plant paved yards. Why don't you give us and all vehicle quality inspection and testing facilities. Chair, give us a recommendation. Page three. Okay. The, the committee recommends that 176 billion is provided to cater for the following. We have that budget shortfall of 18.09 billion for the previous financial year, which should be provided to our timely completion of the vehicle facility. If you visit that place for some time, they spend about, about three months without working when they exhausted the funds and they had to wait for the reason. Additional funding of 157, 91 billion should be provided to KMC to cover costs of the expansion of the vehicle plant. And this is a one-off. So let me ask you, yes. which money do you want to be front loaded? The, the 42 the, or, the, or the 176? The, one, the, one, the 157 in order to catch up with the speed required to deal with the construction work for the various facilities. We go to 7.2. We have the National Science, Technology, Engineering and Innovation Skills Enhancement Project. Parliament passed a resolution on 26 September 2018, authorizing government to borrow up to 84.73 million US dollars from the Exim Bank of China to finance this project. The project spearheaded by the Uganda National Council for Science and Technology is aimed at providing incubation facilities for Uganda scientists as well as enhancing skills of young technicians and engineers retooling unemployed graduates and supporting them to establish startup businesses and to undertake infrastructure development of the country and local manufacturing of products in line with Bubu policy. I think honorable members are aware we passed this loan and uh, from the Chinese government, government made its contribution. Is it the facility we visited? Yeah. yeah, there are two facilities. One is in Namambe, then the second one is in uh, Kiruvura. So this one yeah, is the site. Yes, the site. The thing of professor. The new one is the site no, under no, construction. No. Which one is this? Which one is this? <laughs> this, this, this is the project for which we procured that loan. But it had stolen on account of lack of land 
which was resolved uh, last year, towards the end of last year. They acquired the land. They are now trying to prepare that land for construction. It is in Chiruhura. Chiruhura? Yes. It is in Chiruhura. They bought all the land. They bought land. Initially, the land which had been earmarked for this had issue, mm. and the people refused to vacate. So they got alternative land, which they are now going to utilize for this purpose. Mm. Did they buy the land? Or no, the, the land was donated. The land was donated, but they received the titles and everything is now in the name of the Uganda National Council for Science and Technology. So you made savings? The savings, land was initially provided, but it had controversy, so they left that particular one. And they received another alternative, which is now being worked on. Okay, so they have to build the institution. Yeah, so. Where they will be taking. Site clearance now. Okay. Ready. And it has two sites. One in Chiruhula, the other one in Amam. Okay. This is what we're asking. Is this a professor, is it? No, yeah, this the one in Amam. The one in Amam, yes. Is in the neighborhood of professors. Okay. In the neighborhood. Okay. The other one is the machining center for the profession. Uh -huh. So this one is different. This one is what? Hmm? Skilling also. Yes. Yes. Skilling. Skilling. Hmm. But the, the other one is for producing machine making, making machine. machine. Under this ministry. The professor is also skilling. For making also machine skilling. making machine. That's for the professor. Yes, that is for the profession. Uh -huh. Now this one is for skilling. No, no, there, there are two sites. There's one in Nama. Nama, they have two facilities. Okay, two, uh, let me call them facilities, sir. There are two facilities. The one we saw, the, which is now commonly being referred to as the one of professor. And, and they are in neighborhood. One is next to another. I don't know which one is that. We never saw another one next to the other one of professor. Some have two plots that is being involved. These are the two plots. The one in Nama, and then the other one. Uh -huh. so Yes. 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 The two sides. Yes. 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 Space with the, the necessary facilities. The one with the Chirumura is uh, to provide practical skills. You learn as you do. Learn as you do. In the so various Chirura fields. Chirumura is a national one. Chirumura is a national one. You don't intend to regionalize. Even that person from Kachumba has to go up to Chirumura. Yes. Okay. Now, these are business incubation centers, yes. but there are four upcoming regionalized arrangements for technical parks, technological parks. Why not in Why not in Akashi? When this project was first conceived, the land was provided in uh, Sanga. No, it was land part of under counterpart funding or it was uh, one of the project costs? No, the, 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 that land, that land had been given as an offer, as a donation. By who? By government. Government has land in but, but what it turned out to be... So the land was owned by government? Yes, but what it turned out to be, as you know, these, these people and boys are the rest. Yes. They yes. turned out to find some, you know, those land grabber. And they put very stringent measures. Mm -hmm. And the government had already committed money on this project, the Ruka Counterpart Fund, yes. which money was going to be lost. So they started looking for alternatives, and that is how they secured another donation of land. In by who? In by who? 
the donor. No, who, who donated land in Kirimura is the <laughs> And how many acres? Yes. <laughs> this is 45. 45 acres? Yes. Donated by who? Do, do, they have any documents? They have any documents? Yes. yes. Because, because the title is now under the name of the National Council of Science and Technology. National Council of Science and Technology. Who is that good in Uganda? We still have those good people. Because if you can't come in, if you can't come in, you the charge. Can we can we request for some ten minutes to bring that idea? The one here is somebody can claim to have donated the land. And it's there. Then they come and construct a very modern, powerful reconstruction uh -huh. institution. Then later on they come and say, our land, the children, the grand. So, can we be assured that uh, we don't invest in some building or somebody? Chair, yes. I want to assure this committee that there is a, a title in the label of Uganda National Council for Science and Technology. Yeah. So the donor transferred the ownership to the government of Uganda. But and, the, and, the, and the crackers both bring a copy of that title. Oh, okay. So maybe because it appears the donor doesn't want to be known, he's a good Samaritan who doesn't want to be known. Uh, but, he be yes, yes. <laughs> and, 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 and I hope that uh, this is a genuine title which will not again be challenged that to be a fake title because the donor is not known. That can happen to church, but not, not for. And uh, again, for the record, it's not true that the donor doesn't want to be known. Okay. There is a certificate of donation. Yeah. And we have a record for that. But not only do we want the record, we want the title and the transfer of ownership. We are bringing the book. The transfer of ownership. We are bringing the book. Vacant position. And so, 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 Chair, if I, because these people's stories are long, they could just say the person and then go to the community. What I wanted to know, this, this, this loan. It seems we are now asking for money because the, the construction is catered for by the loan. Yes. Mm. So, and the building has not been put up. You now want money which I thought it was for operationalization. But you have not started even the building, you just want to clear the site. Now, let me clarify on this. How do you know that the, the loan, the, the cost of land is not fractured in the, in the loan? Let me get five. I don't remember. The no loan agreement. is ready to come The loan agreement is in such a way that uh, at the beginning of the contract or the beginning of the project, government was supposed to pay certain sums of money for insurance and for uh, initial deposit of contract. And the government has already done that. And government having done that, the donor, rather the, the loan, exit bank, is going to disperse money for the construction work. However, the co the co funding, the counterpart funding, mm. is supposed to do uh, a number of activities. At the beginning, it was supposed to do site clearing, bringing uh, utilities to the site, and preparing the site for uh, the works to begin. And that one is all was done. Now, for the subsequent financial years, the money that is required from the government of Uganda is to serve the following, uh, the following uh, one, to do 
general administration of the project and the cater for uh, human resource. Pay for the garden staff that I hope is a project. Pay for monitoring and evaluation. And, um, and, 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 and as I said, the general administration of the project. Okay. So that's what is required to come from the government of Uganda. Okay. In the meantime, the money for the construction is coming from the law. Next, uh, culture. So for that purpose, 35 million is requested mm. to take care of these activities. No, you can't take when, the, you, when according to the chair's mm. explanation, you, you, you see now, these are, apart from insurance, but even insurance, you, you, you cannot insure buildings that have not been put up. You cannot insure the thing long. Eh? Insure the loan. Ah. No, that's not the loan. It's not paid already. So now what are you asking for? Money for development. And the development is supposed to come from the loan. What they are supposed to get is this operational like the, now, like the professor's case. Let me, let me list the activities, uh, chair. And uh, let me read that the committee was also informed that the loan agreement does not provide for equipment needed to operationalize uh, the two sites, Lama and Jerusalem. Consequently, the project faces a funding gap of 35 billion for procurement of engineering machine and the house equipment for both sites. Yes. This includes textile engineering machinery, correct, furniture and fixtures, support and research equipment, IC equipment, office equipment, engineering machine and equipment, correct, and services and also cater for project monitoring, evaluation. This is here, it's already here. It's already here. That's what I'm saying, this one's come out, not only four. What, what is happening? These people, within one financial year, we have everything ready on the ground. Then you don't have to come back to us for supplemental. I know. To have this in place. Are you assuring us that uh, these guys are as efficient as the Chinese? It is almost the same group, they are Chinese. The same model? Yes, you know oh. what they did there in less than six months. Okay. Huh? If, if, if it's not Ugandan building. No, no, no. It is a Chinese building. It is Ugandan is handing you know, over the site. Under the makers, is it? The professor's model? Yes. Oh. Ugandan is handing over the site okay. after they have cleared. You said the professor's model, it will make it easy. The ICT. <laughs> Copy of the board, please. Hmm? So, yeah. Yes. The, 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 yeah. What I've learned, they are using the professor's model. They, they will hand over. Yeah, can we have the Chinese? The, like the Chinese did with the professor. Yeah. It's a good idea. Yeah. It's a very good idea. But, but they are also over anticipating that by okay. end of financial year. They will be ready. If you hand over that site, within one Chinese. month and they yeah. start one. Yeah. Yes, in 2018-19, the innovation fund was outed so for continuing of those stolen projects. In 2019-20, Parliament appropriated five billion, and in 2020-2021, ten billion to support the stolen activity of sericulture product, which is still way back, requiring 86.9 billion to take off. Even in the mega resources, the project funds have been cut by 19%, bringing its budget to 8.1% in the budget for 2021-2020. Some of us are not well versed in what's the recurrent. It has to do with the, with the processing of civic worms to get set. So that process of growing the silk and whatever is what is called encouraging. So during our oversight visits to some sites, the committee noted that tremendous progress had been registered. Additionally, to enhance commercial production, the committee was informed that the project had established 601 acres of mulberry plantation in Shema, Barara, Obende, Bukedia, Iganga, Kamori, Kayunga, Kwen, Luweru, Nakashiseke, Parisa, Noya, Zombo, Uyukwandi, Bolamburi. The committee noted that government projects 
a housed and privately owned land, which leads to wastage of government resources in the long run. For instance, it is key to note that the land is fundamental for mulberry production. So this mulberry crop takes the extensive pieces of land. The committee was informed that if government land is to be procured for sericulture, it would need a minimum of one square mile in each of the regions of east, west, central, northern Uganda, near water that can be used for supplementary irrigation and in cocoon processing, costing approximately Chair, nine. Chair, just help us, eh? because now I see the numbers are increasing. Why don't you give us what, what, you, what is allocated and what is your gap? Yes, I was going there because you seemed not to know what sericulture is about. Now, what, what do you have? having recommended, the committee recommends that an additional 20.8 billion be urgently included in the budget as follows. 1.9 to reinstate the item budget to the position it was at 10 billion. Then two, 9.75 billion for acquisition of land in a phased manner as capital investment in civic processing cannot be appropriately established on privately owned land. And three, 9.24 billion to enable the project consolidate stage one of the cycle. Yeah, that, that is mulberry so reproduction. What, what do you have? The? What is your location? Zero. It is 8.1. 8 8 to ensure sustainability of the project. 8.1. Yeah. need a table to cover this is very well. I think they, they, are, they, are, they are covered in this detailed one. The committee will receive it and they read on the soft copy. Okay. Okay. Fine. So that is sericulture. 7.4. Huh? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Did you got this? Now let's go 7.4. 7.4. Okay, 7.4 is the Ministry of Science, Technology and Innovation, Rituri. The, com the committee notes that in the previous year. The recommendation just. The recommendation. Okay, money for retouring has been cut off over the previous financial year, and the committee recommends that the total of Uganda shillings 8.4 billion is provided in the budget for financial year 2020, 21, 2022, over and above the MTEF figure to cater for the pooling of the ministry. What do you mean by the ministry? The Equipping the ministry with the appropriate facilities, including vehicles, office. So it was already. Center. It was already a tool. Now, <laughs> when it was instituted, yeah. you know, it is the new, it is the newest ministry. So you talk it's about a tool, not a tool. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a tool. Now they are. Chair, chair. They are replenishing. Chair, you are talking about the parliamentary resolution. Which resolution is this that you are referring to? Parliamentary resolution is which one is that? Which page is that? Page 8 in, in this one. There's a parliamentary resolution. You are basing on the parliamentary resolution. Which resolution is this? It, 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 it came through appropriation. 7.4. There was the parliamentary. You are using parliamentary just five. This is No, because it had been passed through the budget appropriation. But this money was withheld. With, with these new developments of COVID, when they say no okay. vehicles, no whatever. 7.5. So this is, we have the science and technology parks. The Ministry of Science, Technology and Innovation has plans to establish specialized regional parks, which the chairman was talking about, uh, in municipal innovation technology hubs, validation centers, as well as technology and business incubator. These are intended to extend common user facilities to workplace spaces near and all categories of researchers and innovators to spur industrialization. So the committee recommends that 9 billion is provided in the budget 
for the financial year 2021-22 to build this business incubation parks in the different regions. So, Packaging, uh, where is this packaging? Center of Excellence, where? Can we go to? Yeah, we go to uh, this Yuri thing here, yeah, banana. That's banana is the other, banana. the other red brand. Yeah? Yes. Banana is Take the us on brand. banana and be here. 7.9. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what here about banana? What's the legal status as we talk? Yeah. yeah. So, we want to lay on the paper the certificate of ownership of the land in Indura that shows that even uh, the donor from whose name the land was transferred to National Council of Santa Correct. So the donor is called Justin, the Justice Chabaiwa, Chabawa. Sorry, 